Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to pass array values through function in C programming. Now in order to do this one, first we are going to create another function, but uh, if I create the another function in the bottom, we have to do the prototyping on top. So I am going to name that function as integer at and integer and here we are going to put an array and then integer. So this is our prototyping for the next function we are going to create after this. So first uh, let's deal with the main function. In the main function we are going to put, we are going to declare some variables. I am going to declare this one as integer type of variables. Here what we are going to do is we are going to get some numbers. The user is going to decide how many numbers he is going to enter. And after the user enter the limit, it's going to ask to enter the number that many time. And the user is going to enter the, that many numbers and it's going to calculate the total for him. Okay. So this is just to show how to pass array values through functions in C programming. Now first we are going to declare some integer type of variable. Here I'm going to put n comma i comma x and and another one for array. This is the one that's going to store the numbers from the user. Like whatever the number you the user is entering, it's going to store right there and calculate the total after that using this. Okay. Now first we have to ask the user to enter the limit like user is going to decide how many number he is going to enter so we have to give the prompt to the user so this is going to be printf statement and in this in this one we are going to put backslash n and uh, enter the limit enter the limit and that's it for this one and let's go to the next one now we have to get the input of, from the user so we put a scanf statement right here and since this is an integer type of variable, we have to put a percentage %d, percentage %d, and we are going to store this one in n. Okay, we have to put ampersand n, and then that's it. <coughs> now we are going to create a for loop according to the user's input. Like if the user say three numbers, we have to repeat this one three times to get the numbers from the user, right? So we are going to create a for loop for that. In this for loop, I initialize i with 0. And if I initialize i with 0, I have to have i less than n. i less than n. And then i plus plus. Each time we do the increment by 1. And uh, now we have to get the numbers that many times. Like when the user put the limit, it's going to the for loop is going to run that many times. And ask the number, ask the user to enter the number. So first we have to create, create the print prompt to the user for that. Prompt. In this prompt, we are going to say backslash n for the new line and enter the values. Enter the values. And the values are going to be integer type. So we put percentage %d. And uh, here we put comma i plus 1. OK. So user is going to enter the values. To get to get the input from the user, we had to put a scanf statement. In this scanf statement, we put percentage %d and then ampersand ai. This is going to be the array. Like This is why we created the array, because the user is going to enter the number. And the numbers are going to be stored in the array. a and a array i. Okay, I have to finish the quad right here. Mm. Yeah, I had to finish it right here. And uh, this one unnecessary. And a semicolon. And then, now we are going to create an equation x is equal to at a comma n semicolon. And now we are going to create a printf statement. This is going to show us the total at the end. And this one backslash n total total and percentage %d. Okay, let's assign x for that. x for that and then semicolon. Now we are going to create our next function. In this function, we are going to calculate the total. So, okay, this uh, function we already did the prototyping on top. So here that is integer at and uh, int a array and then comma 
in 10 and the next thing is we are going to set this i and x to 0 first int i comma x is equal to 0 and after that we are going to run a for loop for loop in this for loop i is equal to 0 less than n and then i plus plus now we have to calculate the total. To calculate the total, I'm going to create an equation. In this equation, we are going to put x is equal to x plus a i. And uh, that's it. Now this one should work properly. Oh, and also, since we are storing this one in x, we have to return x right here. So I have to put x for this one okay otherwise it doesn't work you have to put a return x okay now let's go ahead and run this one okay enter the limit let's say i want to enter four numbers for you can enter any number you want i put same number to so it work correctly so i put 12 12 12 12 it's 48 and uh, you can put any input like 3, 4, whatever the number you want. Okay, like for example 5. Here I'm going to put, uh, okay, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 25. And that's how we do these kind of things. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to add, access these codes, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description. And also, if you are trying to learn C or C++ programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch that too. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.